Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to take a look at free, free streaming services that I think all core cars should try out. Now core cutting is great, there's a lot of paid services are great, but free services have really upped their game. There's a lot of new ones on the market and they can supplement paid services or maybe replace some paid services with a free ad supported version. So I wanted to take a look at 10 services I would recommend for Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV that all core cars should try out. Now most of these will be available on everything, a few won't be, they're in no particular order. So let me know what you think of these ones, if you have one you would suggest from the official Fire TV, Apple TV, Android TV, Roku, etc. app store. Let us know what you think about these. We would really appreciate your feedback and hopefully we can help you maybe discover something you didn't know about and help you get more out of your core cutting experience. Now real quick, if you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what you're, we're doing here and we can help you break free from the high cost of cable TV. So let's dive into 10 free Roku channels, Fire TV apps, Apple TV apps and more that everybody should try out. Now I'm demoing this on a Roku, but most of these are available on multiple ones. The Roku channel is on Roku, it's also on mobile devices, it's also on some smart TVs, available through computers online. And it gives you on-demand movies and TV shows when you want them. Plus it gives you the ability to watch live content too, including like ABC News, Weather Nation, Film Rise Movies, Streaming Live, Stadium Sports, USA Today, and more. Tons of live content here, plus tons of on-demand content and more. So keep that in mind. Lots and lots of content here to pick from. Plus they recently launched something called Kids and Family. This is a place where it curates kid-friendly content. You can even sort it by ages from one to three all the way up to 10 plus to find age-appropriate content for your kids. And it's um, great if you subscribe to something like HBO through the Roku channel, you can also find like the Sesame Street content, the age-appropriate content from HBO here on the Roku channel. So if you haven't checked out the Roku channel recently, check it out again because they've added a lot of content. They have added additional device support. Hopefully it comes some more services very soon. So let's go back here and keep going down the list. Next up is Stir. Now this is a um, streaming service that offers local news um, from Sinclair owned broadcasters, but it also has a ton of on-demand movies and TV shows and live TV of things like the Buzzard um, channel for classic game shows. You also have classic um, sci-fi here through Comet and more. So once the guide loads, you can see here, you got live streaming of the um, Law and Crime Network, um, Stir, Buzzard, great classic games, the Dove channel streaming for free, uh, American classics and more. They even have 24 seven channels like Hell's Kitchen, Unsolved Mysteries, Kitchen Nightmares streaming for free as a marathon here, plus on-demand content through Stir, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you haven't tried Stir, they've really been adding a lot of content recently. Recommend you try it. It's on most streaming players. Now, Pluto TV is probably one you've heard us talk a lot about over the years. It is uh, pretty much on everything now, and now that it's owned by Viacom, I'm gonna kinda step in front of that part there. Um, as you can see, they're running a 24 seven Bond marathon in some of their channels leading up to the new Bond movie next year. But they also have a ton of channels. They've added a lot of Viacom channels recently where you can, I'll back out real quick, uh, where you can find um, like uh, MTV, VH1 content, Comedy Central, um, Spike TV is back as a channel on Pluto TV, right next to all the content from other places like CNN and more, all streaming for free on Pluto TV. They've also been doing a lot more marathons to promote movies like classic Bond movies, where you can watch them either both on demand and live through the channel. And you can also get them uh, Pluto TV, the ability to go and have Pluto TV uh, show um, things like CNN, recaps of CNN, recent videos, Fox Sports and more. So if you haven't checked out Pluto TV, since the acquisition by Viacom, they've really upped the game of content there to show more movies, more TV, and more Viacom content. So check it out. One of the other services that's pretty much on every major streaming player is Tubi TV. Here with Tubi TV was one of the early free ad supported services that really took off. And if you remember it from a few years ago, the movie selection was kind of subpar, let's be honest. 
But in the last couple years, they've really focused on adding great new movies um, and a, a bigger variety of content out there. So you can find everything from kids content like Charlotte's Web to horror content and comedy content and more. They even have documentaries and categories like not available on Netflix where you can watch this. So a ton of content here to pick from where you can um, really find something for everybody for free with ads on Tubi TV. Now, it will, the first time you open it, ask you to uh, create an account. You don't have to, but the thing about creating an account allows you to like favorite movies, um, create recommendations based on your watch history, and say, hey, I started this movie here, I, I stopped it, I wanna finish it in a different room on a different device, and I can pick it up because it will remember where I left off. So there are benefits to um, creating an account with like Tubi or Crackle, but you don't have to. All right, um, Zumo TV is uh, one of the other great popular streaming services I hear a lot of people recommend. Recently, it rolled out to Apple TV, uh, Fire TV, and more. So they used to be pretty much exclusive to Roku and select smart TVs, and they recently changed that. They recently added uh, support for many different devices, and it includes a lot of content, uh, very similar to some of the others, but stuff that is also unique to them. Tastemates here, uh, Fail Army, and more. You'll find a huge catalog of content, Comedy Dynamics, America's Funniest Home Videos, Fuse TV is here, and all kinds of other ones. A 24-7 Family Feud channel, if you're into that. Divorce Court, you can watch all the Divorce Court content you could ever enjoy. Really a huge selection of stuff, and you'll find ones like right here, the History Channel. Now this isn't a live feed of the History Channel, but it does have History Channel programming, older content, streaming for free through Zumo TV. They also include on-demand content, so you could access on-demand content right there through Zumo TV or find a live feed for it. Oh, I gotta re-add this real quick. That's a great thing about Roku channels is if you if they ever not used for a while, they'll remove them to free up space, and re-adding them goes really quick. So with the Voodoo, you probably know this as a paid service, right? This is a service where I buy or rent movies. That used to be the only thing you could do in Voodoo. But some time ago, they added free movies and TV shows with ads. They now also have original content. So Mr. Mom, the classic um, from what, 80s or 90s, I can't remember when that first aired, is now a TV show on Voodoo um, for free with ads. But they also have big name movies like Gravity's on here and more. So you can see here, um, there we go. And you can see Bewitched, Conehead. Some of it is some content you would see on other services. Some of it is exclusive to Voodoo. So I would encourage you to say, hey, well, I have, instead of just saying, hey, I have one free service, I must have it all. A lot of this content is exclusive. You know, stuff on Zumo is not necessarily on Pluto. Stuff on Voodoo is not necessarily on the Roku channel or Tubi. So check that out. They really have up their game of quality of free movies and TV shows, adding more and more content every single week. And just look for anything that says free with ads on that. Free with ads is what you're looking for. CW Seed is not the CW channel. CW Seed is a streaming service that actually predates the CW um, on Roku and other devices. It includes free movies um, and TV shows. Things like The LA Complex, Mysteries Decoded, Ringer, and more are all streaming for free on here. You even find a lot of anime included on the CW, and it, it's a pretty good lineup. It includes a huge collection of Whose Line Is It Anyway content. You can go through here and pick from classic seasons, the new seasons of Whose Line Is It Anywhere, so you can watch that if you're a big fan of Whose Line Is It Anywhere. So if you haven't checked out um, CW Seed, I highly recommend you check that out. All right, next service up on this list is Hoopla. Now you're probably, oh, it's telling me I gotta lick my account for some reason. You are probably familiar with Hoopla at, or um, going to your library, excuse me, to get movies in D, on DVD or VHS and rent them for free. Probably you're familiar with the fact that you can do that. But did you know many movies or libraries now offer movie streaming online? Whether it's through Hoopla or through like Canopy or another service, many public libraries now offer free streaming. You do need a library card, of course that is free, and then you can link it to your Hoopla account and more, and you get a set number of rentals. It could be 10 rentals, where you can watch 10 movies for free, and they're ad-free too, which is pretty cool. 
or many of them also allow you to rent audiobooks, magazines, ebooks, music, and more through Hoopla um, for free with your library card. So check out your public library, see if they offer Canopy or Hoopla or another service that allows you to stream movies or TV shows for free. All right, man, I, for some reason, it's just making me reload all these channels. Um, there are many great local news ones. I'm gonna pull up one in particular here as an example where if you live in a town, you may wanna see if your local TV show or church or school has a free streaming app for um, TV and so forth. There we go. Um, now, the great thing about these is you get on-demand access. Many of them allow you to watch movies and TV, sh or watch their news broadcasts, excuse me, when you want and how you want it. So you can go back in here, I'll exit out because you don't care about local news at that location here in Waco. But you can go and get your local news stations, um, free Roku channel, free Fire TV app, free Apple TV app, et cetera, um, to watch it. Many churches are now launching on these streaming players, many schools, um, the local college here, they stream their football games for free on many different streaming players through their free app on there because they're a smaller school, like a division three or four, I don't know which one they are. So do some hunting around where you live for local free apps um, that offer local content. I love the ability to get my local news when I want it, how I want it, re-airs, the ability to watch um, highlights and clips on my schedule instead of having to say at six o'clock I need to be home and watch that. And that's where News On also comes on. News On is a streaming service that offers a huge collection of live um, local news. And they do really cool things like when there's a major event, they'll pull a tab up here like when the recent hurricane came through, they had all the stations streaming the local hurricane content, first off Florida, then Georgia, and then the Carolinas, and so on. And um, they also auto detect your location and give you suggestions of local stations like, like in my Austin, San Antonio, recently added stations so they've added some new stations in the recent months and more but the great thing here is i can also go in here and say hey i want to see all the stations from florida because i heard that there's something happening in jacksonville right now and i can do that i can sort by state i can sort take a look at locals like here's the orlando area we're going to look at orlando content and more so if you haven't checked out news on Make sure you give it a try, because you never know. I often find local news is the best coverage of things like hurricanes and more. So real quick recap, we have the Roku channel available on more than just Roku devices. Stir both on-demand and live content, including over-the-air networks like Buzzard and Comet and more. You have Pluto TV here, classic, now owned by Viacom with a lot more content. Tubi, all kinds of on-demand content. Zumo, so much content there too. Vudu, not just for buying movies anymore, a lot of um, on-demand free content with ads and now original programming. CW Seed, ton of CW content, even more than what's in the CW app. Hoopla, if your public library supports a service like that, check it out. Your local news, churches, synagogues, whatever it may be, colleges, um, check out, see they're available on your streaming player. And News On, used to be pretty much exclusive to Roku, now on more streaming services. So check this out. If you have an, an app you would suggest adding to this list, let me know. Hopefully we can help somebody learn about something new, save some money, but still watch the shows they enjoy. If you're new here, hey, again, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it helps us a lot. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost of cable TV and still watch the shows you enjoy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back here tomorrow for more cord cutting news, tips, tricks, and how-tos.